Okie dokie, if you're here to see how to turn a pipe into a bigger pipe or a pipe into a smaller pipe, well, you're in the right Always spot. remember to turn off your gas before playing with gas to prevent a fire. Oh, and hire a real professional that can charge you $9,643 for a one-minute job. <laughs> it's so great. I'm going to show you what I'm using to go from a three-quarter inch pipe coming out of my floor to down to a half inch pipe. You see this side's three quarter threaded and this side's one half threaded. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. I'm gonna be coming out of a pipe um, for a hot water heater and this is a little stub. Now this is just another threaded pipe, a small piece threaded on both sides. Uh, you could get a longer one. I mean, these come in all different lengths. I'm gonna use just this one because all I need to do is go from three quarter to a half. So I'm gonna do this over here before I connect it to my actual thing. That's gonna make it much easier on you. And I'm gonna place this pipe inside there. Okay, in my left hand, I'm going to apply the Teflon tape first, just like this, and wrap it around, you know, about three times or so. And then get you some Blue Monster. This is Blue Monster tape and Blue Monster um, pipe dope. So now that that's on there, I'm going to apply this evenly all the way around. It's going to be much easier to do it off of the actual fitting, if at all possible. So get that evenly spread. Now I'm going to do this exact same thing on this side. I'm going to take this fitting. This is a three quarter inch stub. They make these in half inch as well, but this is a three quarter inch one. I'm going to connect it to the three quarter inch side. Righty tighty. Okay. Now I've got that started and I'm going to set it down just like this and I'm going to clean my hand and I'll be right back. What I'm going to do now is take me a pair of channel locks and I'm going to hold it right here in the middle of this small threaded pipe. And I'm gonna take another pair of channel locks and I'm gonna tighten this fitting. It's not gonna break. Um, if you use pipe wrenches and crank it down, it's gonna to be too much. That there's tight enough. I'm not, I, I could go tighter, but I'm not gonna go tighter. That's tight enough. Okay, it's a pretty good, you know, pressure on that. And now what I'm going to do is take you in over over here and show you how I connect this to the actual um, gas line that's three quarter inch. Okay, so here's where I'm going with it right down here. That's a gas shut off. If you're curious on that video, I have a video on how I did this gas shut off for my hot water heater. And see down below that gas shut off, it comes out of the floor through that floor flange and we need to go from three quarter inch down to a half inch on uh, off that shut off now. So here's what I'm doing. Righty tighty. And don't cross thread anything. Okay. Get it on their hand tight first to assure that you're not cross threading anything. It's, it's starting to go on there. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna use my channel locks to tighten that down. <laughs> this was the beginning stages running the pipes from the meter to here. I've got videos on all this in my gas playlist. Now this is shut off and I went from three quarter to a half inch. Basically, I'm just gonna tie onto this now with a supply line that will connect to my hot water heater. And I'm gonna be making a video on hooking up this hot water heater. So go ahead and follow me over to that video. If this one was helpful in any way, go ahead and like it, subscribe to my channel if you like home improvement videos. See you next time.